Welcome to PC Tricks Guru YouTube channel and in today's video I will tell you that uh, how to remove uh, restrictions from a Word and Excel file. So sometimes it happens when we receive an email or when we receive any attachment we get several Word and Excel files and the creator restricts these files by using a password so you're not able to do any kind of modification with the file. So for these files what you can do is just view the file and forward the files from one place to another place. So what if you want to remove the protection from the file and do some modifications in the data which is provided to you. So for these we have a software available and for the download link you can check the description of the video you'll find uh, the link to my blog and from there you can uh, uh, download the software so let's proceed and uh, what I'll do now I'll create a test file in Microsoft Word and then I'll protect it with the password and after protecting the file with the password we will try to edit it and then we will remove the password directly using the soft software so let's start so this is a word a blank word document which I have opened on the screen in the word document let me type something any random thing because we just want to create a file and then apply restrictions on it so suppose uh, this is the file and now we have to go ahead and save the file so I'll be saving this file on the desktop so I'll, I'll select desktop and I'll name it file as PTG test and save it so the file has been saved to the desktop with the name of PTG test if I double click on it I can uh, edit the file I can do any modifications I can save the file again so this file is right now it's not protected so now let's go ahead and protect the file for that you have to click on a review tab and after clicking on the review tab you will be able to see the option restrict editing under the protect section so here is the restrict editing option click on it after clicking on it you will see the option editing restrictions click on allow only this type of editing in the format and from the drop down you have to select no changes it means that the file will become a read only file no one will be able to make any kind of uh, modification or no one will be able to change the file so once this option is selected click on yes start enforcing protection after clicking here it will ask you to enter a password which will be used to unlock the file which will be used to remove the, res the restrictions from the file so let me put any random password here like uh, okay this is the password and again click OK now the file has been password protected no one will be able to edit it without the password now let me save the file again and close the file The file has been closed and let's reopen the file it's been opened here and let me try to edit something so suppose I have selected this and I want to delete it it's not letting me delete whenever I'm trying to delete the, uh, anything it's not letting me do anything whenever I'm trying to type anything it's not letting me type as well and here you can see that it's giving us the option to stop protection so only that person who has the password of this file will be able to uh, remove the protection from this file so if I click on stop protection and if I enter a wrong password because right now I do not know the password and click on OK it will throw an error message that will say the password is incorrect now click on OK and then try to edit the file nothing is happening so right now we are stuck with this file we do not have any permission to edit the file so now here let's see the magic of our tool let's remove the password and make it editable so I'll close the file and then open any word permissions password remover this is the tool which I'm going to use and we have to click on add files click add files and navigate to the file which is protected which you want to unprotect so this is the file on the desktop PTG test I'll select it I'll click on OK or open after clicking on open it will be added in the 
list of the files here so you can see that the file has been added now and now okay so if you get any option or if you get any malware pop-up which is uh, uh, prompted by the antivirus software or the Windows Defender allow the application it says that it is a Trojan it is a virus but uh, no it's not a virus this application is going to use some decryption techniques to remove the password and that's why the antivirus does a false detection which says that it's a virus but no it's not so we have to select allow on device and click on start actions now the software has been allowed on the device we can close it and then this is the option to select the location that where do you want to save the new file which will be unprotected so I'll use same as source because I want the new file to appear here on the desktop itself now click on start After clicking start, you can see that just in a few seconds, it removed the password successfully. You'll see the message that says password successfully removed. Click on OK. Now close the software. OK. Now this is the file which is created. PTG test underscore no restriction. Now double click on the file and try to type anything. And bingo. It works. So it's very easy. You did not have to do anything. Just use the software and remove the password from any restricted document. If I want to save it, I can click on save or let me just remove anything and then save the file. Close it. Now reopen the file. And there it is. So there you got the unprotected file. You can do any modification. You can edit uh, uh, the text in the document. And this is the original file. So original file will remain intact. And a new copy of the file will be created, which will have no restrictions applied to it. So this was for the Microsoft Word documents. Now, uh, now let's try with the Microsoft Excel document. So I'll create an Excel sheet. In the Excel sheet, suppose I am typing something like this and I'll apply a formula to add these two numbers. Okay, done. So now this Excel file, it is working fine. Uh, you do not have any restrictions on this Excel file. So let's save the file first. I'll save it to the desktop again with the name of MS test and the file has been saved we can close the Excel sheet and then reopen it and uh, if I make any changes here then you can see that uh, the value is getting changed automatically because of the formula so the Excel file is not protected right now let's go ahead and protect it so we have to go to review again and then click on protect sheet after clicking the protect sheet it will ask you to enter the password to unprotect the sheet i have entered a password here and these are the options which you want to allow for this file so right now with this sheet once we are done with the protection uh, you can only select the locked cells and select unlocked cells so these two permissions are given to this file rest of the permissions have been revoked for this file so no one will be able to format the cells no one will be able to insert rows columns or delete rows no one will be able to do anything apart from selecting the cells now let's go ahead and click on ok it will ask you to re-enter the password click on ok now this file has been uh, this sheet has been protected we can click on save and then close it now I'll open the file again and try to make any changes here mm, you got an error so it says the cell or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet to make a change unprotect the sheet you might be requested to enter a password so definitely we set up a password while protecting the sheet and assume that we do not know the password 
or it's a file which has been sent by someone to us and uh, we want to edit it but uh, we do not have the password so that's why we are stuck here we cannot do anything with this file so nothing can be done with this file let's close the file and open any Excel permissions password remover so this is the tool and again we have to do the same thing uh, click on add files go to the desktop and msdesk.xlx so I've selected the file this is the file and then go to start again the password was removed successfully just in a few seconds you can click on OK you can close the file and you can close the software now this is the new file which has been created by the software which does not have any kind of password protection enabled so just double click on the file and then check whether we are able to edit it or not and bingo it is working if I want to change any number here for example if I change it to 33 you can see that the formula structure has also not been changed so it did not make any kind of changes with the file it just removed the password so this is very handy for big excel sheets which are password protected if you want to know that which formula has been used to prepare that excel file you can just remove the password and check that which formula has been used for example if i click on 110 here you can see that equals to f8 plus f7 has been used to calculate the values so again we can save the file we can close it so that's all for today uh, this was what we were required to do these applications are very handy and they are very small in size as well. I have provided the download link in the description of the video. You can click on that and you can go to the blog and follow the instructions to download the file. And if you are new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, hit like and hit the bell icon as well so that you'll get the notifications as soon as I upload any video. So see you again in the next video. Till then, stay safe and have a good night. Bye-bye.